Oh. Ah. oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. I've just been cutting the grass, but it's going to take forever because the lawnmower's broken and I can't find Small. Have you seen him? Small? Small? Hey, why don't you shout with me? One, two, three, Small! Oh, I can't find Small. I think he's lost. Oh, oh hello, Ben. What's the matter? Oh, there you are. I was worried. Whatever are you doing? Oh, I'm just having a bit of a rest after all that grass cutting. All that grass cutting? Oh, yes. Look. One blade of grass. Is that all you've done? One blade of grass? Well, it might be one blade of grass to you, my friend, but to me it's like a tree. We'll have a lawn up to our ears in no time at this rate. Well, maybe you shouldn't have broken the lawnmower. Well, I didn't break the lawnmower. It just got old. That's all, Small. <coughs> Aha! Come on. Customer Small. I'm on my way. And who's our customer today, Small? You'll never guess. It's Old MacDonald! Old MacDonald? You know Ben, the farmer from the farm down the road. He keeps chickens and pigs and the most beautiful brown horse ever. Well, we'd better make something a bit special for him then. Yes. But what? Something to do with animals. Moo! <laughs> Can you guess which animal I am? A cow! Shh, Small, I'm trying to think. Moo! Oink, oink! Go, go, do, do, do. What on earth are you doing, Small? I'm making farm animal noises, Ben. Farms are full of animals. I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was going for a walk when I heard a lot of noise. It was a farmyard full of howling animals. They were neighing and mooing and barring and barking and grunting and meowing. It was the most dreadful noise I had ever heard. I just had to go and find out what the problem was. The horse told me that everyone on the farm was really, really hungry because the farmer hadn't fed them that morning. Not all the animals were there though. The chickens were missing. So I went to see if I could find them. But did I get a big surprise when I got to the chicken coop? All the hens were busy clucking and fussing round the cockerel. The poor cockerel was lying in bed looking really ill. He'd lost his voice. All he could say was, Urgh, 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 instead of, cock -a -doo -doo -doo. How terrible! A cockerel without a cock -a -doo -doo -doo. I soon realised what the problem was. The farmer and his wife were still fast asleep. No wonder the farmer hadn't woken up. You see, it's the cockerel's job to wake the farmer up. Every day, at dawn, the cockerel stands on top of the chicken house and sings his wake-up call as loud as he can. cock a doo doo cock a doo doo Then the farmer wakes up and knows it's time to feed all the animals. But because the cockerel had lost his voice, the farmer hadn't woken up. That's when I did my famous cockerel impression. cock a doo 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 a doo 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 That soon woke them up. At last the animals would be fed. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! cock a doo 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 <laughs> Way! I'm back, Ben! There we go. The farmer and his wife rushed out of bed, and soon they'd fed all the animals. I bet you know exactly what to cook for old MacDonald, then. Oh, 
I've forgotten about that. Let's see. It can't be that difficult. Oh, I know something that might help us. It's a song about our customer, Old MacDonald. That's sure to help us. Will you join in? Goody, I know this one too. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some chicks, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O. With a oink oink here and a oink oink there. Here a oink, there a oink, everywhere a oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, I love that song, Ben. Me too. There are so many things that come from a farm, aren't there? Yeah. But we have to think of something for old MacDonald in our cafe. But what? <gasps> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Aha! Uh -huh. Look! The perfect thing! Farmyard smoothies. Mmm, milky drinks that look like animals. Whoopee! Hooray! You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need a banana. OK. Banana. Honey. That's honey, not bunny, Ben. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> honey. Yoghurt. And most important of all, milk. Yoghurt and, um oh. Are we out of milk? I'm afraid so. Oh, well, that scrambled our plans. What are we going to do now, Small? We can't make smoothies without milk. Not to worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, Small, you're the popping popcorn, and I'll get everything ready. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Look at the lovely green grass and, oh, what's that? Something's eating the grass. It's a cow. There's lots of black and white cows. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> Here comes the farmer on his tractor. He's rounding up the cows because twice a day they have to be milked. Ah, moo to you too! This is the milking parlour. Come on, in you go! The farmer attaches suction pipes to the cow's udders.
The milk is taken from the cow. Wow, look at all that milk. The milk then goes to a factory where it's heated and cooled and put into cartons. At home, we keep milk in the fridge so it stays fresh. Milk is tasty and very good for you. I like to drink milk too, or have it on my cereal at breakfast. I'd better get some milk back to the cafe. See you later. There we are, all set and ready to go. All we need now is the milk. Way! I'm back, Ben. I've brought the milk fresh from the farm. Woohoo! Oh, nice and creamy. Lovely. We're all ready, so take a look and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember what we need for farmyard smoothies? You do? There was a banana. One sliced. Honey. One teaspoon. Yogurt. One tablespoon. And last of all, milk. One cup. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now mash up the banana with a fork. In it goes. There we are. Oh, mash it up. Mash, 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 mash. I like this bit. Oh, there we go. Now we're making a drink to remind old MacDonald of his farm. It's a yellow chip drink. There we go. Now we also need to make a paper head and tail for the drink. And my little chum here can take care of that. Okey dokey! <laughs> What noises do chicks make? I know. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> OK. Now, to our mashed banana, we add our yoghurt. In it goes. Lovely. Our honey. There we are. Make it nice and sweet. All that in. And then finally, we put in the milk. And then mix it all together to make a lovely thick banana drink. Mm, mix it up, mix it up. We just finished popping the rest into a glass. Oh, very nice. Doesn't that look good? Our drink's just about ready for Small's head and tail decoration. Small, how's this chick's face coming along? That's the face done. Now for the tail. Oh, yes, the tail. How is the tail? Cluck, 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 cluck. 
I've finished and I've stuck some tape on the back. Clock, 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 clock. Thank you, Small. On we go. Now I just need a straw, please, Small. Here you go, Ben. Oh, thank you. And there we are. One lovely chick drink. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now, if you want to make a pink piggy smoothie, oink, 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 all you have to do is add strawberries instead of bananas. Come on, Ben. We'd better get that chick drink off to old MacDonald. It looks so good. Righto. One farmyard smoothie coming through. Oh, there. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! And what's this? Oh, McDonald's left us a note, Small. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, the best smoothie I've ever tasted. And what brilliant heads and tails. <laughs> Just like being back on the farm. He likes it. He really likes it. And there's something else, Small. Well, what? It says, I've heard you were having problems with your lawnmower, so as a little thank you, I've left you something to cut the grass for you. Something to cut the grass? <gasps> a lawnmower? <laughs> oh, my small. Old McDonald's left us a note and a goat. <laughs> a goat? Look at this, small. Her name's Alice, and she'll have your lawn looking lovely in no time. Well, mash my potatoes. If that doesn't beat everything, our very own goat. See you soon. <laughs> See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. It's great to start the day with a tidy cafe. <laughs> no sign of Ben yet, though. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world! <laughs> Ben's not here at the moment, but he won't be long. Hello? Hello. Uh, uh, ben could not make it today. He is a bit busy, so he has asked me to take his place. My name is Pierre-Francois. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Let's take a closer look at his face. I'm sure I've seen him before. Hey, why are you staring at my face? You make me all shy. I'm sure I recognise him. Hang on, that's not Pierre, that's Ben. Hey, Ben, we know it's you. <laughs> oh, you saw through my clever disguise. I thought I could fool you. Well, your coat's different and so is your hair. <laughs> and your eyeglass makes you look really distinguished. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> In fact, your voice is very different. The only thing is, your face looks exactly the same. But I've been invited to a party where everybody has to dress in disguise. A disguise is when you change the way you look, so your friends don't know who you are. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do? My disguise isn't very good. Don't worry, Ben. We'll find something. We'll have to worry about my disguise later, Small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Way! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Well, we've got three customers in our cafe today, Ben. 
Three? Wowee! <laughs> what do they look like? Well, there's a little one, a medium-sized one, and a big one. Oh, give us another clue. They're very furry. <laughs> I'll guess in a minute. And they have horns coming out of their heads. <laughs> oh, I know who they are. They're the three billy goats gruff. You're right. The three billy goats gruff. Now, I wonder what billy goats would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk in the countryside when I met three billy goats. A big billy goat, a medium-sized billy goat, and a little billy goat. Hello, they bleated. We're the three billy goats, gruff. The billy goats were very hungry, so I shared my packed lunch with them. We don't have enough grass to eat in this field, said the little billy goat, gruff. I looked at the field on the other side of the bridge, and the grass was very green. Well, why don't you cross over? I asked. We can't, said the medium-sized billy goat. There's a nasty troll living under the bridge. He's going to gobble us up. I'm sure he wouldn't do that, I said. Come on. We started to trip, 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 trap over the bridge. But sure enough, the nasty troll appeared. Who dares to trip, trip, trap across my bridge? He bellowed. How am I supposed to get rid of my headache with all this trip, trap, trip, trapping? So that's why he's so angry. I thought he's a troll with a sore head. Then I had an idea. I found some of the softest moss. And I made mossy slippers for the little billy goat, mossy slippers for the medium-sized billy goat, and mossy slippers for the big billy goat. Oh yes, and I made a pair of mossy slippers for myself too. <laughs> Wearing our mossy slippers, we pad pad padded across the bridge, and the troll didn't hear a thing. The goats were so pleased to be in the lush green field. That they made the troll a pair of goat's wool earmuffs, so that he'd never ever be disturbed by trip trip trapping. Little cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. So the three billy goats gruff feasted on tasty green grass thanks to your brilliant idea, little cook. But what can we cook for three billy goats? That's a good question, Ben. <laughs> I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, let's see. Aha! I found just the thing to remind the three Billy Goats Gruff of their adventure: a baguette bridge. That's trip trap tremendous. <laughs> you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. Okay, let's see. We're going to need onions. Onions. Over we go. Here we are. One onions, two onions. Yep. A baguette. And what's a baguette? A long bread roll. Like this. Oh. <laughs> oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Sugar. Got it. Cider vinegar. Oh yes. Here we are. That's in the cupboard as well. Yep. Cress. Here we go. Got the cress mall. And goat's cheese. Goat's cheese. Oh, right. Okay. There we are. Everything we need for the recipe. But I'm afraid we don't have any goat cheese mall. Oh no. But don't worry. Why don't you whiz off and get some, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! 
I wonder what he'll see today. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> oh, look, they're goats. And that goat is being milked. This is the dairy where the goat's milk is made into cheese. That's an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Now the milk has been turned into curds and whey, it has to be cut up into little pieces using a special cutter. The whey is drained away! We don't need that anymore! <laughs> The curd is used to make the cheese. It's collected into moulds and put under a press until it is set. The cheese is taken out of its mould and put in a storeroom. Yummy, yummy! I'd better get back to the kitchen with some goat's cheese. Bye! <laughs> I found the perfect disguise. Blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. Merk, merk, blip, 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 blip. I'm an alien. I'm back. Why are you hiding behind that colander, Ben? <laughs> it's my clever disguise. I'm an alien. <laughs> no time for that now, Ben. I've brought back the goat's cheese. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Good work, Small. That was amazing. Goat's cheese is made from goat's milk, you know. The goats were really pretty and they had beards. <laughs> oh, I bet it's all lovely and creamy. Come on then, Small, let's get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes! Have you washed your hands? Yes! All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook! Do you remember the ingredients to Baguette Bridge? You do! There were onions Two thinly sliced A baguette One cut into three Two short pieces and one long piece. Oil. Two tablespoons. Sugar. One tablespoon. Cider vinegar. Three tablespoons. Cress. A little for decoration. And goat's cheese. Five slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I've heated the oil in a medium saucepan until it's nice and hot. Then, I'm going to pour in the onions and give them a good stir until the onions are coated in the oil. Mmm! I love the smell of yummy onions while they're cooking. I wonder if I can think up a clever disguise for Ben with this greaseproof paper. When the onions are golden, it's time to add the vinegar. There we go. Slip, slop. And then we can add the sugar. Plip, plop. Give it a good old stir. Like this. And then we can cook them for another ten minutes until they're really golden. The crinkly crublet has landed. Throw down your spoons. I come in peace. <laughs> Is that you, Small? Yes, Ben. I'm trying to find you the perfect disguise. The only trouble is, I'm stuck. Can you try to unwind me? Okay, here goes. 
<laughs> Thanks for thinking up the crinkly crublet disguise for me, Small, but it looks a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, let's see if these onions are ready. Don't worry, Ben. I'll find you a disguise. Mmm, these look just right now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and then bring them across. There we go. And next, I'm going to take the two short pieces of baguette, which I've cut the ends off, like this, and pop them onto a baking tray. We can eat the other bits later. And then, I'm going to take the long piece of baguette, which I've cut in half, like this, and I'm going to place that on the baking tray as well. And on top of that, I'm going to put the onions. And some more there. And next is the fun part. On go the slices of goat's cheese. Some there. And there. And another one there. And then another piece on there. Ho oh, ho ho, this looks yummy small. <laughs> ha ha, I'm a knight in shining armor and I'm ready to joust. <laughs> ah! What are you up to now, Small? Hey, hey! I'm trying out another disguise, Ben. I'm being a knight in shining armor. Now stand aside. My horse is ready to charge. <laughs> are you all right, Small? Yes. <laughs> I don't think I want to be a knight in shining armor. It looks a bit dangerous. Right. Let's get on with our baguette bridge. Now, we can pop it in the oven. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Open it up, and in it goes for 10 minutes. I'll set the timer for 10 minutes. The cheese is melted now. But it doesn't really look like a bridge, Ben. It soon will. It's cool enough to touch, so I'm going to arrange the pieces of baguette on a plate like this in the shape of a bridge. There we go. And then I'm going to sprinkle some cress around the plate as a grassy riverbank. Wowee! That looks brilliant! Quick, Ben, let's give it to the three billy goats gruff while it's still nice and warm. OK, then. One baguette bridge coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes! And it looks like the Billy Goats Gruff enjoyed the baguette bridge. Look, Small, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? 
Let's see, shall we? <laughs> it says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, thank you for the yumptious baguette bridge. Woohoo! We are enjoying our new field very much. Here are Small's mossy shoes that we left by the bridge in case the troll isn't wearing his earmuffs when Small visits us again. Whoopee! My little mossy shoes! I knew I'd left them somewhere. <laughs> oh, hang on, Small, there's more. Here's something to help with Ben's disguise. Big bleats from the three billy goats gruff. Ho ho! <laughs> Look, Small! Hey! <laughs> it's a goatee beard! <laughs> Let's put it on with the rest of the disguise! <laughs> I can't wait for the party now! <laughs> this is gonna be great! <laughs> How do I look? Like a right silly Billy! <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't recognize you now, Ben! Now I've got the perfect disguise! <laughs> See, See you soon! soon. <laughs>